Hello everyone! I want to show you a wonderful visual example of how to use a gradient and how to embroider a completely different design with the same colors. Here I have uh, such unfinished uh, samples, still in progress, but a piece, its uh, central part uh, already have been completed and shades are already used here. Mm, white, beige, green, like uh, some kind of emerald gamma from dark to light. This creates such an uh, interesting uh, development effect, uh, classic uh, gradient. It's one of my favorite, I can say. So now um, let's see how the central part looks like on another completed piece. Um, same colors I used here, with the exception of one um, cream, uh, which doesn't play a role actually. So see what the gradient uh, looks like here they use their opposite logic here from um, you see like this will be more easy to visualize and observe so from light to dark and here from dark to light and you can clearly see how we achieve completely different um, effects uh, these are the same colors plus um, slightly different counter geometric solutions and the same threads using a gradient we can create many many different shapes experiment and broader and bring uh, different elements into your creativity this is a uh, classic ornamental technique uh, similar elements are often found in ornaments mm, this is uh, already a more embroidered pattern and here it's um, already clear how the outline uh, will look the logic of uh, execution is the same but here there are clear lines um, and uh, here I wanted uh, to blur it a little bit and make a gradient on the contrary. Less directional, I can say. See? This allows you to get a completely different result in the end. Uh, it's uh, not completed yet, but a significant difference is already visible. Simply by using elementary gradients uh, they can get such different effects just look at this a little bit closer such a beauty isn't it write me um, how you use gradient and how often